Hi there folks, welcome back to my channel. I do apologise for the noise. There is some roadworks on Suckill Street right now. That's a bit noisy. Uh, but I know last week I went to the Willow Tea Rooms on Buchanan Street and I did say that I was going to come down to the, the Macintosh at the Willows on Suckill Street. Because the, where the Macintosh at the Willows is, that is the original location for the Willow Tea Rooms. But as I was saying in the last video, I which I will link in above. There was a copyright dispute at one point, so that's why the one in Sucky Old Street is now called uh, Macintosh at the Villas. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to be popping in just a moment. I have managed to put myself in for a table for lunch, so, so hopefully get able to get some nice things and show you what uh, the Macintosh at the Villas is like. From what I've seen online, it does actually look really, really nice. So hopefully. You will enjoy this video and if you are enjoying my videos, if you are enjoying my channel, if you can click on the subscribe button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post a link to the channel's coffee.com page, the PayPal account and the TikTok account in the description bar below and in a pinned comment in the comments section. So with that, with that out the road, I'm going to get away from the noise and get myself into uh, the tea room. Yeah, I had to mute this section because of the noise of the roadworks. But this is the outside of the Macintosh at the Willows. Uh, and I couldn't really get a, a, as clear a view of the outside as I would have liked to because uh, of the Harris fencing and the, work, the roadworks. But uh, it's still a stunning building. And even from the outside, it's authentically Macintosh. And there is a, a shop next door. So here's we look at the menu. And we'll get a better look at the menu when I get inside. So this is me just coming into the tea room and I do love just how the, the effort is going into making this place just feel authentically Macintosh. Uh, but I've got the bits on the wall and uh, here's a bit of a closer look at the menu. So they've got a separate tea menu and they've got a separate food menu. I ended up going for their soup and toasty deal. So it was, I think it was a lentil soup and I went for the cheese and chorizo toasty, which was really, really tasty. And they also do classes for adults who want to learn more about the Glasgow style and maybe how to learn how to create work. So this is my lunch. As I was saying, I got this soup and the cheese and chorizo toasty. Yeah, so this area here is the mezzanine. And I'm just loving that the colour scheme we're using up, the, up here. A lot of stencil work. And I'm loving the wood work as well. Yeah, I love in the fireplace there. Very much it reminds me of like, the fireplaces in the house for that house for not lover. So that's uh, the main bit of the tea room down there. Obviously, don't really want to be filming other diners. Get a bit, bit, bit peace and quiet. That's the bit of the tea room I was in, just down there. And I'm loving this wee kind of use of metal and glass, I'm loving that. And I've come into the shop and they actually have this map of buildings that were actually designed by Macintosh or based on his work.
Yeah, still waiting for the Scotland Street School to open. So these are the ones that are open to the public. And they're still doing a lot of work on the Glasgow School Park because of the fires. So this is the gift shop that they have. So you can buy a lot of Macintosh related items. And they also have this exhibition as well, which I'm gonna pop into. Yeah, so this section of the, the, the exhibition museum very much, very much looks at the relationship between Charles R. McIntosh and Mrs. Cranston and like the whole kind of uh, like the temperance movement and that playing its part in why there's like so many tea shops, especially in Glasgow, but like, in like the late Victorian early Edwardian period. And um, uh, it's very much going to show me all the different kind of elements that come together as to why Mrs. Cranston had, I think it was like 40 shops she had uh, in the city, the city centre. So, kind of very much kind of look at the relationship and how Mrs. Cranston very much gave McIntosh his chance, his break into becoming the architect that he became. And um, yeah, so it's very interesting to kind of see all that. And uh, there is a bit up the stairs that shows you about the, the restoration of this building and how it was kind of brought back to its former glory and the work I had to put into it. So I'm going to finish this bit down here and go up and see what I can show you upstairs. Yeah, so this is uh, the continuation of the museum. And actually, this actually shows you a map of all four of the tea rooms. So you've got the Willow, which is the one on Misaki Hall Street. And what's kind of like got quite good at the fact that they called it the Willow and had it on Misaki Hall Street, because uh, Saki, so that bit of Saki Hall Street is actually the Scots word for Willow. And there was also Miss Cranston's, which is in Street. I think that's probably where the Willow Tea Room is now. There's the Crown and Tea Lunch Rooms, Argyll Street. And Miss Cranston's on, on Ingram Street. And as we much go into detail about McIntosh's style, and again, you can see some of the examples here. Again, a lot of the, a lot of the design, the tier design special was done by McIntosh's wife. Yeah, so this is one of the iconic high back chairs that if you know anything about Macintosh, you recognise these chairs straight away. So you have these we pull out information boards you can have a look at as well. This is a set of the original doors. So that's me just out from uh, Macintosh at the Willows. And again, really enjoyed it. Really, really nice lunch. Uh, the, exhibi the exhibition space as well was really good. I yeah, feel a, uh, a lot of information about Macintosh and Miss Cranston and about the partnership as well. 
and yeah, definitely something that if you are in Glasgow and you're interested in the works of Charles Ryan McIntosh, definitely get yourself onto Suckill Street, uh, it's actually just across the road from the Tesco Express, and get yourself in for a wee lunch. They also do high teas, they do Prosecco teas, and there's also daily tours uh, for, like we can see bits of the building that I wasn't able to get into. So I think the tours are at 9, 10 and 11 in the morning. So if you're in the area and you want a wee tour and then go for lunch, definitely have a wee look at uh, the, the Macintosh at the Willows. I've definitely enjoyed my little visit to Macintosh at the Willows. Hopefully you'll have enjoyed it as well. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.